Okay guys, so we're gonna go through how to do a relative atomic mass calculation. It's something that you didn't do the best on in the recent test, okay? So remember your definition for relative atomic mass is really, really important. It has three parts you have to remember. First part, okay? So the relative atomic mass of an atom is your average mass of that atom taking into account, second thing, the abundance of isotopes present on a scale where carbon 12 isotopes has a mass of 12 atomic mass unit. I think I got that right, okay? So let's try that again. So three parts, you have to say average, you have to say abundance of isotopes, and you have to say that on the scale where carbon 12 isotopes has a, 12, has a mass of 12 atomic mass units. Okay, so let's try that again. So the relative atomic mass of an atom is the average mass of an atom taking into account its abundance of isotopes on a scale where carbon-12 isotopes has a mass of 12 atomic mass units. Okay, that's it. That's your definition. You need to learn it off. Okay, so here's your calculations. So, this is the way, this is a leading search exam question here, okay? So, using a mass spectrometer, it was found that nickel consisted of 70% 58 um, nickel, 26% uh, of 60 nickel, and 4% of 62 nickel. Remember, your atomic number is the same in each of these cases because it's the same element, okay? Your atomic number is what determines the element. The number that's different is your mass number, and the reason that's different is because these are isotopes, and therefore they differ in number of neutrons that they have in the nucleus, okay? So it's a neutron number. Remember your definition for isotope is atoms of the same element with different, different numbers of neutrons. So let's see how we do this, okay? So first of all, we have to imagine we've got 100 atoms of nickel. Okay, so we've got 70 atoms with a mass of 58. We have 26 atoms with a mass of 60. And we have four atoms with a mass of 62. Okay, so we have to get the weighted average of these atoms. Okay, and the way we do that is the following. So it's going to be, there's our information that we need for our question. It's going to be 70 by 58. That's the abundance by the mass. It's going to be 26 by 60. Again, your percentage abundance by the mass. And then finally, your 4 by 62. Okay, so we're going to put that into our calculators now. So it's going to be 70 by 58. That is 4060. Then we've got 26 by 60. That is 1560. And then we've got 4 by 62, which is 248. So we're going to add up these guys. So 158, wrong, sorry. So it's going to be 4060 plus 1560 plus 248. Um, and that is equal to 5,868. Um, that's the average, that's the mass of 100 atoms. We need to find out the mass of one. We divide that number by 100. Divide by 100. So that is going to be 58.68 atomic mass units. So that is your answer there. That's the average mass of one atom of nickel taking into account its abundance of isotopes on a scale where carbon-12 has a mass of 12 atomic mass units. Okay, I hope that's useful.